let not my will be done, but your will, right? And he's talking to the Father. So he's like, okay, you want to use that? Let me throw it back at you. So is, is Allah a father in any sense? Now, for me, my opinion is, you would have to say yes, because that was your criteria of Jesus being a Muslim. But when you when you further to explain it and say, no, I can't use that text, then it's just like, why did you use that text primarily? That was my, that was my point. Okay, but, that's but it. But again, I want to ask you, what, do you, is it blasphemous to call God a father? All right, that's yeah. right. You see, the problem is with uh, this God, According to the, the, I don't know what, what's the meaning of that, but this doesn't. Everyone says dog, dog water. <laughs> that, could be, that, could be, that could be a better, you know, description. But that's not my point. My point is, yeah. let's, the, the answer of that question is not yes and no question. It has detail. Yeah. Firstly, secondly, he didn't give me the opportunity. I was, I was, you know, the, 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 you know, the answer was long. He came. He was saying, if Jesus is a Muslim. I said, yes, he's a Muslim. Yeah. And I said, because for us, the meaning of Islam means submission, submission to God. Anyone who submits his will to the will of God is a Muslim. Yes? Okay. And I use his text, not for me, for him. Because for me, the Bible, the current Bible, is, in, is an unreliable text or source to be used. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we cannot use it as a source of information. But would you, you would say that text shows that he's Muslim? One right? second. No, no, I'm saying... I'm saying it's sufficient for us, the Quran testify yeah. that Jesus is Muslim. Sufficient. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. That's sufficient. Okay. For us, the Quran is sufficient text to know. Uh, Jesus was a Muslim, Moses is a Muslim, Noah yeah, yeah, was a Muslim, yeah. uh, Adam was a Muslim. It is sufficient. Allah has testified this. Sufficient. As Allah says in Quran, Allah is sufficient as a witness. So Allah is sufficient. Hmm. We don't need other text. But for this guy or someone who came from a really Christian background, yeah. maybe the Quran doesn't make sense to, to yeah, him. Yeah. yeah? Say, I don't believe in the Quran. If I use the text of the Quran to you, for example, you, be, yeah, you, 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 say, you say, oh, but I don't believe in the Quran. Yeah, yeah. But I will say to you, according to your text, for example, yeah. it says that Jesus prostrated to God. I agree. God it says Jesus, let it be yeah. not my will, but yours. That shows he's not God as he is worshipping something. Yeah. He's worshipping God. Yeah, or worshipping the Father according to them, yeah? So he's doing an act of worship to an entity which is independent from him. him. Am I right? More powerful than him. I More agree. powerful than him. And yeah. that is, if we understood this from the Islamic perspective, yeah. he's worshipping God, for example. Because yeah. Islam described Jesus to be a worshipper of God. So we worship God. So that's one thing. Could you, could you use the Bible? Could you use the Bible? Could you use the Bible to prove that uh, Jesus was Muslim? No, no. Uh, you see here, let, let, let me, let, that's what we say always and we repeat the same thing. For us, for me, to prove Jesus is a Muslim, if Allah didn't tell us about Jesus in the Quran, we will not know about him. Okay. Do you understand? Which means, for example, the Quran, it doesn't talk about Krishna and, for example, these ones or whatever. It doesn't talk about it. So for us, we cannot say there is someone whose name is Krishna or someone whose name is this or some of his name is Buddha, for example, yeah. yeah? Even though they say some of his teaching, some people, they did some research, they say some of his teaching, it has some kind of good morality and all of these yeah. things. But for, for us, we are not using the teaching of Buddha to prove there is someone whose name is Buddha, was a prophet or was something. Okay. We don't know. We cannot affirm, we cannot say this. For us, what is recognized in, in the Quran, Allah has mentioned and made us to recognize Jesus. Allah made us to recognize Moses, Allah made us to recognize Noah, and all the prophets of the are mentioned in the Quran. And we know there are humongous amount of prophets, as in some narration, that says there is 124,000 prophets. Right. And 315, 16. I want to get to that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there are around 300, 300, either between 13 and 19 numbers. Yeah. Between 313 up to 319. The numbers of the prophets, and yeah? the, the numbers of the message. messengers. They will say the same message, the, Muhammad, right? I will tell you, the message is the oneness of God, submitting yeah, yeah, yeah. to the oneness of God. So that's their main message. That's, that's their main message. Now, they have different, what you call it, sharia, meaning different rulings, yeah, it's things it's which is related to rulings. Like, yeah, for yeah. example, certain rulings was suitable for during the time of Moses, then God has abrogated them during the time of Jesus, then God has made the final and the final legislation from God, which came during the time of Muhammad, peace be upon him. You understand the point? Now, now going back to the, to the text, because for us, we don't believe in the Bible that is preserved and protected. 
Now, but we may there understand. Are in, in but there are, for example, for example, the oneness of God. Our Lord, our Lord God is one. Yeah. And the, in the in the in the Hebrew, they have used the term Achad. Yeah. And exactly the same term was used in Aramaic, yeah. Ahad. And the same text that said in Arabic, Ahad. Ahad is a unique term. It doesn't represent the number one. It's a unique term, represent one and absolute. Yeah, unique. I'm a monotheist. He's a monotheist. So I believe yeah. in so he's oneness yeah. of God. Oneness of God. So one and unique. I don't need to say much harder. Yeah. I already have the message. Yeah. Why do I need to say much harder? Okay. Okay. يا اوكي سد يا اسمع عرفت يوم الماي الحلو والماي البحر ايه انا هو عارف انه عارف انه هو هو الان داخل في الامور هذه اوكي اوكي اول رايت يو جونا يو جونا تشينج مي باي نو ام نوت سي هي سيد تيل هيم اباوت سيرتن يو نو ويتش از ميركلز مش ان القران سيد هيز اوريدي اوير هيز اوريدي اوير ذاتس وات هي واز سي يا ماي بوينت ماي بوينت از سو سو الله هاد ديسكرايب هيم سيلف تو بي احد Yeah. Which one in you? Now that term is used when you read in the the first teaching. Well, what is the one of the I think the the commandments, the ten commandments? Yeah. It actually represented there. Don't take images or bow to yeah. them or prostrate to them. Yeah. Don't take any like. Which means again, that's what's teaching of Islam. It teaches us not to worship idols, not to make images of something, not to worship no one but the Creator of the heavens and earth. Yeah. Then yes, we can say yeah, that could be the teaching. That could be something which we accept. They're doing that today. I know they don't do that today. That's what they do. And I've, I've just been debating yeah. that for like an hour. Yeah. Oh, job, oh, job, oh, job. Okay, alhamdulillah. Yeah, I'll put it here. Yeah, jazakallah khair. So you see here. So for us, how we deal with it, how we deal with these texts, we say whatever affirms in, whatever is affirmed in the in these texts is affirmed in the Quran, then we accept it. No problem. For example, in the in the in the from the commandments, don't steal. Quran said to us, don't steal. We accept. Don't, uh, for example, don't, don't kill. Don't steal anybody's yeah. stuff unless they're not a Muslim. It doesn't say don't steal Jewish or Christians. You're okay to steal as long as it's not a Muslim. Is that Muslim. true? Is that true? So, yeah, it teaches that. Yeah. Nonsense. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe they that. They teach steal anybody who's infidel, a non believer, no problem. Yeah, I, I, I don't believe that. I don't is, teach my kids not to steal anything. The good thing, the good thing that all, not all the Christian dares come back like you, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, going back. We had we had a bit of a discussion with, with our Christian friend here. We had no problems with this. By the way, as a Christian, as a Christian, respectfully, he says he's a Christian. He said just now. By the way, a man he said just now. He said that the the Quran teaches Muslims to to not to steal, not only other Muslims, but they can steal from Christian or a Jews. That's what he said. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. That's rubbish, yeah? That's as all. As a Christian, he's saying that. As a Christian, he's saying this. Yeah. Just wanted to affirm, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But respectfully, we're going to say now. Yeah, but yeah, we have to have okay. respect. You're going to learn. You're Muslim? No. no I'm a monotheist. He's a monotheist. So, we, are, we, have, we have to have respect to each other. And that's, not, that's why, instead of jumping, we are, we are, as a mission to you, for us, when we are dealing with the text of the, when we are dealing with the text of the Bible, we don't take it as a source of information to us. Yeah? As you, you not don't all take, of it. You as you, to, not as all you, of it. You not, can't say all. No, no. For us, it's not the, it's not the primary, the but primary. Like, so, the, yeah, it's not but the they, primary. But, but you would agree that there are words of God in the Bible, right? There are. Yes. But yes. now, how we know is through if it's affirmed in the Quran, then we accept. If it's not, then we don't know. We just abstain from it. No, it needs, it needs to be in lineage with what the Torah says, because the Torah. Not just, not just the Torah. For again, you see here, for but us. The Torah is the exception of this. I understand. No, no. For example, in the Torah, in the Torah. It talks about, for example, that God has, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, in the Torah, for example, it talks about that God has instructed the children of Israel to kill every single man, woman yeah, and child yeah, and all yeah. of these things. You see here, for us, we don't know if this is the wording, of, we don't know, we can't say, because in the Quran, it didn't affirm this for us. And, and from the, our teaching, that we know that killing innocent people is not permissible in Islam. Killing innocent children and women and it's not permissible in Islam. So that's why we say is yeah, you know, these things not not necessarily these are the word of God instructing people to kill innocent people innocent children. You understand? Yeah. So for us we we abstain from this. But that's not our point. My point is going back to the to the source. Now when it comes to Jesus, when it comes to uh, uh, considering God as a father, in the in the Arabic term you, let's mark, mark my pronunciation. Ab means 
father. Rab means God, Lord. Yeah. Ab means father. Rab means what? Lord. And in there are there are kind of similarity from the in in the Semitic language in Semitic language. There are some kind of similarity in terms of that, which is whether it came from Hebrew or came from Aramaic or Arabic. There are kind of, there are kind of, you know, you know, close in terms of the pronunciation. Now, what is so that? Would I, would I be allowed to reference? I, I will kill you. Father? I will kill you. For example, we say about the father of the family, we say, Rabbul Bayt, meaning the Lord of the house. Okay. Yeah? Not, not, not necessarily is a God. But he is a lord of, of has authority. Do you, you see the yeah, point? You, you talk about man at that a man, man, a man, a human yeah, being. Yeah, yeah. Now, it could be that it could be in the previous text addressing God as a father, yeah. not necessarily as a father he bring who have children, yeah, yeah, yeah. rather than as someone who is caring yeah. and merciful protector, and protector, protector yeah. and all of these things, which is the duty of the father. And God has the greatest example. God yeah, has yeah. the greatest example. Where they know, that's why they were calling children of Israel, yeah. children of God. They used to be called the sons of God. So as it's a metaphorical. It's right? a kind of metaphorical way to, to represent something. So, so would, would Islam permit me to call Allah Father? I will tell you this. Now yeah. here in Islam, in order because of the misconception that I was added through the previous thing, right. Islam draw the line and cut this. Okay. Yeah? So that no one gets confused. Well, no one gets confused. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. I said this, we can say God is the father. Yeah. Now here, Islam cut this because what does that mean? What do you mean by father? Violent. And then we'll go, we'll go to the problems that the Christian yes. fell into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some of the Israelites, some of the Jews called Uzair, which is, uh, I don't know what's his name in, 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 in English, but they called him, he is the son of God. As well, some of the, some of the Jews addressed one of the prophets. But there, yeah, Sheikh, what's the meaning? What's the meaning of Uzair in, uh, in um, Ezra, Ezra. 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 Ezra? Yeah, Ezra. So they called Ezra as son of God. Yeah, due to certain miracle that happened to him, he, you know, he kind of died and he was resurrected, etc. So they call him son of God. So the point is because Islam drew the line, so in order not to cause confusion, so that's why to address God as he has, God, God has mentioned his 99 names in the Quran. 99 names. He's the merciful. He is the kind. Uh, uh, and he is the one who is in authority, he is the one that you refer to, the most merciful. All of these names, and Allah says, Allah told us in the Quran, belong to Allah, the beautiful names, to supplicate to him through these names. So we don't have to jump into other names which God didn't mention about, his, about these names there. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense, it makes sense. So I was planning to say this to him, and he did not allow me. Yeah, and I said to him, he wanted straight answers because I think he was going somewhere. Yeah, I know, I know, I know yeah, he's yeah, going yeah, somewhere. Yeah. So that's why we say there are some, for example, if I ask you your name, what's your name? Frank Francis. You can't say yes and no question. Yeah, yeah, so okay, yeah. there are details. You don't have to say, my name is Frank. I am doing this. I have, I have, this, not, this question, they're not yes and no question. We have to understand this question within the context. Yeah. So for us in Islam, Islam drew the line yeah. about the fatherhood of God to say, Basically, God has, he's the merciful, the care is the protector, no problem, yeah? yeah? But, but to, to use that terminology, uh, it is, in Islam, is not permissible due to the, the misconception that was added to through the history. But it's, in simpler terms, if he was to ask you that question, I believe it would be sufficient enough for you to say no. We don't, we don't regard calling Allah the Father. No, because no. It leads, again, it leads, again. As you, said, as you said, the line is yes, drawn. Yes, yes. So but it, uh, leads to, it leads to not calling Allah a father than it is to call him a father. Yes. Because as you said, when you get used to that, then you start creating misconceptions that God... No, we say, we say no, but as well, you need to give introduction and background. Because you need to know, for example, for example, for example, God has used certain, certain terminology yes. about his generosity. Yes. Yeah, in the Quran. So when God has said, for example, the children of Israel, they said, Yadullah Maghlur, that Allah's or God's hand is tight. And Allah says that his both hands are widely spreaded, he spread the way that he wish. So Allah has used this term to represent, firstly, that he has two hands that he spends. Secondly, that he is generous about his generosity. So these two things mainly in this. So God has used this term in order to show, to show his generosity. You understand? So it could be in the previous scripture, that God has used certain terminology, which can be 
misunderstood in a term of metaphorical way. But I don't know, we can't affirm this. We can't say this. Because for us, again, the art, we are talking about things being distorted and changed. We're talking about a scripture. The first, the first intact Bible is a 300 years gap. You understand? So 300 years gap, everything can happen there. Yeah? Where you, but in, you find in the, in the Hebrew, for example, in the, old, in the Old Testament, you don't find addressing God as a, as a father, rather than to show as that he has children, meaning he's the protector, he is the one who looks after them, he is the merciful upon them. So, Take three the words that describe a father. Yes. Uh, uh, rather than an actual meaning of a father. Exactly, that's okay, how it is. I want to ask you a question. I want to I see if you're honest in this question. Yeah? I'm honest, inshallah. I, we'll see, we'll see. I asked God Logic last week, yeah? Is there a possibility, yeah? Because you have to understand, we, we all believe, it's not a knowing. Religion is not a knowing, it's a belief, right? It's a belief, yeah. yeah. So is there a possibility that who could be wrong? Is there a possibility? No. The impossible. Do you know why? That's, that's, that's ego. No, no, it's that's impossible. Because you just told me that it's that's a belief. That all, all, all... We all could be wrong. I will tell you why. About our um, understanding of religion. No, it's impossible. I will tell you impossible. why. It's impossible. Okay. Now, if we... Let's go to the concept of God. Okay. You are a monotheist. idea. And yeah, I, yeah, that's idea, it. Yeah. The concept of God. Okay. Not the idea, the, the concept. It's the same meaning. No, it's a bit... Uh, concept. No, idea, concept is not idea. No, no, no. It's, it's uh, the same thing. Anyway, that, well, well, that's a separate discussion. Let's, you know where I'm going with the word idea. That's I know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm uh, using specific terms yeah, yeah, no. for a specific reason. Yeah, yeah. I, will, I didn't say idea. It means it's in my head. I'm talking about concept. Something exists. Yeah, in reality. In your head, a concept. No, a concept in the existence. But idea could be in existence. I understand. This but table this table right here was an idea. My, my, listen, now that, it's here. we are not discussing now languages. Yeah? Right, concept, take, right. take, take, take my wording as they are. I'm talking about concept, use that. <laughs> so we are talking about the concept of God. What is the concept of God to all human beings who believe in God? What is the concept? All knowing. All knowing. All knowing. All powerful. All seeing. All seeing. Has independent will. Self sufficient. He's self sufficient. He doesn't need his creation. Yeah, he's self sufficient. Yeah. And as well, uh, loving as well. Yeah. Uh, magnificent, yeah, yeah, magnificent, etc. So now here, based on this, let's apply this to the to the idea that you brought, which is, can we all we'll be wrong? wrong yeah. That means, when God has created us, which He did, no, we, did, we, we believe He did. We believe God. Created. No, no, no. But see, that's the reason why I asked the question. Okay, okay. Believe it. No, we, one second, one second, we, one second. No, no, but we have to be honest about beliefs and knowings, right? So I don't, Good. wait, hold on, hold on. I don't believe you go about saying, oh, my mother exists. I believe my mother exists. You know your mother exists. That's, that's honest, that's being honest. Yeah, yeah. You don't know, me and you don't know God exists. You believe God exists, right? And I'm saying to you, is there a possibility that we can all be wrong? Okay. That, that's my question. Go ahead, go ahead. That's, that's why I, I said to you the concept of God. I didn't say the idea, because the idea is within, within, and, uh, within the minds of the people. The concept is not necessarily within the mind of the people. And I will tell you how. We exist here on this earth, yeah? Yes. This universe exists, yes? yes? Is this an idea or something which is fact? It's fact. Fact. Yeah. So, so this fact that we exist and this universe exists. Yeah. So this universe was created fact, yes? Um, I believe it was created. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, good. I don't know. So I let's use our, our machine that we have here. Yeah. Did, I remember, did I remember the one? Who, <laughs> what? what? Okay, they said there is. Um, they said about a person. Yeah. That's a joke. That's a side oh, joke. Okay. I don't, I don't they said there's a person. It yeah. was a very simple person. So a simple person. And then they found two people. Someone came from an area that they produce electronics and things like this. Some uh, another person who is, came from machines making machines. Mm. And this so simple person, so simple. So they opened the mind of the electron. They found a lot of electronics and things like this. They opened the next brain of the other person, found a lot of machines and things like that. They opened the last brain, the simple person, and then they found one string, the string. So they said, what's this? Thing? They cut the string that the, his ears pulled. You made this, <laughs> made this last yeah, thing, yeah, I remember. Yeah. I remember yeah. So my, the other yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So my point is to you, is basically, the, uh, you know, for, for all of us, us, we know that we exist, yeah? yeah. We know is our existence is factor. Let's use our brain yep. that we yeah, use, yeah, not the yeah. string, the brain. Yeah, let's use it okay. to say 
either we came into existence by our the universe created itself by itself, yeah. or, or it was always here. Or it was always here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, which is that's another thing. Yeah. Or it was created by a creator. Do you have any other other ideas? That's all I've got so far. Yeah. So if it was created itself by itself, that means the universe has to pre-exist before existence. Oh, yeah. Or you, you can just say it was in another form. No, no, there's even another form. What I do, yeah, yeah. So I need to go back. Yeah, uh, Jazakallah khair. Yeah. Or you could just say it was in another form. No, still, which means, which means to pre-exist in another form, that means created by itself again, again. That's okay. A, okay. Uh, right. Yeah. I'll give you that one. Yeah. Okay. So it has to, or it was there always. always that was yeah. in another form, which is yeah, the yeah. always one. Yeah, that yeah, could yeah, be. That's what I meant. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The always one, which means infinity. First, all cosmology, cosmologists, they believe that the universe has a starting point. That's one thing. Adding to this, infinity number. Uh, it's a it's a hypothesis. It doesn't exist in the real life. In the real universe, I'm a mathematician, and I'm talking. I know what I'm talking about. You, you, you meant the, in, the, the infinity, the, the infinity number. Number. It, it doesn't, doesn't exist. It, it doesn't exist. Going, doesn't it? it just keep going. Yeah, so yeah. that doesn't exist. No, no, yeah, it's yeah. impossible to exist. Yeah. So yeah, to say, what do you say that is infinity then? Because it just keeps going. Yeah, that's my point. So that's why if the universe yeah. has doesn't have a starting point, that we are going back to the infinity, which is a hypothesis which doesn't exist in the real life, and we are living in the real life. Does that make Wait, sense? Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. You're saying infinity can keep going, right? And I agree no, with that. it doesn't have a starting point. It doesn't have an end. So yeah, so we can well, apply that logic to. It, it, we can apply that logic if this world has just always been. Yes. Always. So that's why definitely not always been. So this this universe is limited. So because it's limited, it's impossible to have. How do you know it's limited? It has boundaries. By by, by consciousness, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. It, it has boundaries. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's limitless. We, no, we don't know the end of it. The they, they they believe it. It's, it's, that's what, even the people who say about well, the Big Bang. Yeah, even the people who use the the Big Bang theory, they said Agnes has. It's limited. But we only know about four percent of where, where we are. Right yeah, now. my point is, so it has the time and all of this. So it has it has a starting point when the universe started. So it's impossible to say it was there always. Yeah. But the last thing, which is it was created by a creator, someone who something has created this. Something, yeah, yeah. This something all powerful. Well, we know. We don't know, right? We, we have not, to believe it. Yeah. One second. This here, because if we if we kind of na uh, uh, nullify the two options, we will remain with the one option. Which was created by a creator. Oh, it's been always, it's always been. Which one? No. You, you, always been, we told always, you. It, no, but it's always been. Do you understand it's also another option to take? No, because, because it's always been. No, the universe has a starting point. That's agreed. That's agreed between I all. I don't, I don't believe that. No, it don't, you don't believe it. Some, you could believe there are monkeys. No, are, I, no, it's fine. No, <laughs> there are dragons. It doesn't matter what you believe. That, yeah. No, it doesn't I matter. Be, no, I believe. I believe that God created it, but I don't know. I don't know if God. My, my, my point is to you: using our own logic, yeah, we know the cause and the effect. Nothing yeah. came, comes into existence without a cause. No, but that's, that's according to us, though. That's what we know. So the, I know you are the mother and father. According to the universe, to the universal reality. But we reality. don't know anything of a cause and effect that can create this. We don't know that. No, we know this because why? Because if. Oh. If there is everything, listen, if there is every single detail in this universe, yeah. it should have a cause and the effect. That means the totality, it should have a cause and effect. You understand? Yes, that I understand. But yes. I also understand meaning, that meaning energy is also every different. single cell in your body, yeah. yeah, it was produced by something, by a cell. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. That's, why, that's why your whole body was produced by something. Do you understand? Yes. So understand. if every single thing in this universe has something, it has a cause and effect, yeah. that means the whole universe has a cause and effect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it, it can be in one way, shape, of a number. So no, my point, my point is, there is something created this. So, so this we something, that though. there if the, this something, yeah, because this is a conclusion with our own logical understanding to the thing. What's your name? Belief. I'm, I'm Francis. Frank. 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 Yeah, Frank. 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 Yeah, Frank. Frank. To be Frank. <laughs> okay. Frank. Yeah, be Frank. So, so now here it's it's sort of up to you. But at the end of the day, we're using our own our our own mind and our own reasoning. Yeah. We know that this universe has a starting point. Since it has a start, it has a cause that made it to start. Since there is a cause, this cause what it is? It is should be powerful to create this universe. Should be have knowledge to create this universe. Uh, and should have independent will, meaning self-sufficient. Decides no one above this creator to decide. 
And that's why we say this creator has certain things that includes to be wisdom, to have the wisdom. So when God, when God has created us, and we with our own mind, we are different than the other animals. Yeah? Our, our decisions, it affects not just only us, it affects everything around us. Since there is an effect for our decision, that means the more, the more impact of your, uh, uh, of your decision, yeah. the more responsibility that you have. Right. Yeah? Because of me being conscious. Yes, yeah. because of your consciousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why you are required of, of things in this life yeah. more than, for example, a horse right. or more than a fish. You have, you have certain duties to follow. Yeah, yeah. Now, what are, what are these here? Since going back to the point that God is about the existence of God and you are here and you are a creation of God, that means God wants something from you. Since you have the ability to choose to do something wrong, something bad, killing humanity, no, the whole what, people. Do you understand that you have to assume that God wants something from you? If, if I mean, let, let's say for example... No, that's what Allah... Well, here. Allah says use it to tell us to, to, to use our mind. Do you think we have it created for nothing? I, mean, I don't believe that. Yeah, I, I say. So, so we are created for something. What is this something? What is it? Here, this answer has to come from God. So God will reveal to us, to tell us what he wants from us. So does that same, does that same apply to people who are in like Sentinel Island that have, that have no access to this world? Before that, before we come to this. Now, since we are here, yeah. since God has to communicate to us, to tell us what he wants from us. Uh, Otherwise, we have, we have to be wandering around. Yeah. So he will send us a clear message from him to tell us what he wants from us, right. what exactly he wants from us. Now, if using the same, the same logic, the same way to say, uh, so there has to be at least one single way to believe in God. And if you say there are multiple ways, that means, okay, Hindus, they believe in multiple gods. Is this, does that goes with, with the concept of, the, of God that we're talking about? Concept, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. لو تروح تكلم والله ما أعرف. لا كويس. أنا أنا أتكلم من أخلي. أنا فاهم أنا جالس أسوي زيها في الجلسة أحسن من واقع قاعدين وتكلم بهدوء براحة ما يجي حد يدخل بينكم ولا حد يسمع تقنعه ببريحية أنت ترى شغلتها لا أول مرة أشوفه سويتين. يسيد جزاك الله خير إحنا أنا بحب أوقف. الله الله يرضى عليك أكلام الله. So anyway, he said, why don't you just sit down and have no, no, some... No, no, no. I mean, where was we? Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Going back to the point, we said, so since there are different faiths, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. So they have, there is different faith. Yeah. And we talk about the one God, there should be one way. There should be one way. Ultimately, yeah, there should be one way. One way. Yeah. Now, and it's impossible to be no way. Because then in that case... No, no, no but we, we can all be wrong though. No, no, that could be. One, one of us has to be right. Uh, yeah, one has to be right. But is, one has is, to be do right. Do you believe the possibility? Even though it might be minus 1%, do you believe the possibility that we can all be wrong? It's impossible. So you believe that every... Hands on heart. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait. Let me confirm this, confirm this. Yes. Do you believe that every exercise of religious entities have been ex have, have been um, searched upon? Do you believe there's no more religion no, no, to be no, 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 that's not my point. My point is, there are certain things, there are some religions which was initially initiated by God sent to the, to the people. Yeah, and people, like for example Judaism and Christianity, okay, okay. So God revealed certain things, people twisted, changed it over a yeah, period yeah. of time. Yeah, there are some people, something being invented by people, you know, something, a religion invented by people like yeah. paganism and other things. Some religion as well, initi the initiator was God, and then people distorted, distorted okay. the image, etc. And as well, even amongst Muslims nowadays, we, even not all Muslims are on the right path. Right. So has, even, been, has this been happening since the beginning of time? So yes, yes, yes. For example, like 300,000 years yeah, ago, was there another It was religion? always happening throughout the time. There are religions, oh, there are religion we never know about them, yeah. but we know that God has always inspired the truth to the people. Okay. Always. Yeah. But so tomorrow, could there be a, a new... A new no, no, no. That's why, that's why in Islam came is the final. That doesn't make sense. No. Yeah, that's why. That's yeah. Do you know why? Do you know why? 
because here Wait, Islam, wait, wait. Islam, Islam, Islam let me is ask complete. You what you said. Let me ask what Islam you said. is complete. There yeah, is nothing yeah, but wrong. They were saying that 300,000 years ago, and you're saying that always God has spoken to specific people to follow an instruction, and they always deviate. To convey. Today, yeah, today. No, not always deviated. In certain things, deviated. Yeah, today. But they changed. They changed the yes. way. Of, they changed God's intention. Today, no, they changed. They, they changed the, the revelation of God. They tried to change yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the same. They the thing. You say the same with the Christians. The it. same as the Muslims nowadays. Yeah. So is there a possibility that tomorrow there will be a new revelation? Is it done? It's no. Islam is finished. Do you know why? Because Islam is complete. And Islam, in Islam, Allah has a mission in the Quran. We have sent down this revelation. We will be protecting it. So God has a promise to protect it. So it will be protected until the last day. But even, but, but and how is it? I don't how, disagree. You, yeah. how many sects do you have? You have 73 sects. Yeah, uh, the Prophet peace. No, no, no. One. One, 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 no, no. I'll tell you. Okay. We have, we have more than 73 sects. But we talk about the win within the boundaries of Islam are 73. Seven, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaning they're Muslims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, but, 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 what, 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 only, what, what, all will go to... No, 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 no. One. All, I will tell you what's the meaning of this hadith. It has a... It has a meaning? Yes, it has a meaning. very clear to me. No. Because here, the detail, as they say, we, they say in English, the devil in the detail, but we'll not say that, we'll say that the, the beauty in the detail, in the hadith. Okay. Well, he said, and my ummah, my people. Yeah. So they're still related to people of the Prophet, okay. meaning the followers of the Prophet. Yeah, they're still part of within the boundaries of Islam. They have deviated in certain things. Yeah. They deserve the punishment of the hellfire, but they will be not there eternally in yeah, the hellfire. They will take it out yeah, because yeah. this is not something that they deserve to stay there for eternity. Yeah. But you, you agree that this, this we are not talking about. We're not, to see hellfire. Yeah, they will see. They will face the hellfire. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah. Right. and they are under the rule of God. We're not talking about the people who claim to be Muslim, but they are not Muslim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, for example, the Qadianis who come, the Ahmadis, they say, well, they are not Muslim. Are you they are not. Huh? Are you Muslim? Yes, they are Muslim. We're not talking about, for example, the Rafid, the extreme Shias, those yeah. ones. We're not talking about them. Those are out of the fold of Islam. They, have, they are not Muslim. In, in the, or we're not talking about some people who claim to be Muslim, like uh, Alawis, who call themselves, like this, uh, the, which is the leader of the city, Alawis. We're not, like, we're, not, we're not talking about them or people who are Druze and other groups, yeah. sects. Within Muslim, I never knew that. yeah, there are many, yeah. but those are out of Islam. They're not Muslims. Okay. They 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 ho they try to hold on Islam, but they're out of Islam. They try to say to link themselves to Islam, sorry, but they're not Muslim. They're out of Islam. They are not within the 73 sects. Okay. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So those are away. The 73 sects they are within Islam. So those are out of the 73. Out. See forever. Yeah, yeah. The, the, oh. those are those are disbelievers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a big claim. Yeah, that, why, why we say this? That's how Islam is protected and preserved. Mm -hmm. We don't sugarcoat things. We don't say, yeah, no, we are, but we are happy. Though. That's hadith. Yeah, I know the hadith. So it might not be authentic. No, it's authentic hadith. That's hadith also. Oh, my point is, my point is, mm. you see here in Islam, that's how Islam is preserved and protected. Islam is preserved and protected through this. Otherwise, everyone will add whatever they wish. Everyone will take whatever they wish. Sure. That means as if, as if they claim God, is, God didn't complete his faith. Islam is complete. Allah said the, the final verse revealed by God upon the Prophet peace be upon him on the day of Hajj, which means the, far, the final act of worship that the Prophet taught the people. Allah revealed to him the final verse. اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام. Today I have completed your faith. And I have fulfilled my favors upon you and I'm pleased that Islam is your faith. So Islam is complete. And anyone is doubt that Islam is incomplete is not a Muslim. Understand? Anyone. So, and anyone who adds things to Islam as if he claims that Islam needs to be added. Reform. reform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't believe in reforming. Yeah, yeah. So that's why we don't find us to say, allowing, for example, uh, for example, LGBT, for example, is not permissible in Islam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to recognize them, to say it is something lawful, it is something allowed in Islam, we say well, it's not lawful in Islam. Right. Yeah. We have no problem to deal with LGBT people, yeah. to speak to them, to coexist. No problem. But in Islam, but we cannot. Yeah, yeah. But we cannot. We cannot sugarcoat it. We cannot say, "Oh, it's okay. Let's have uh, uh, an oh, imam who is LGBT imam." We can't yeah, have this. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't work like this. Even the people try, but we know if they someone believes, they if they did it, they are out of Islam. Not no. Muslim. Yeah. You call, you name them anything, but they're not Muslim. Let them do it. People they claim to be Muslim. You know, for example, the what do you call it? The nation of Islam. Yeah. In, in oh yeah, that's the question. Nation of, of Islam. Out of Islam. What? Out of Mufar, yeah. Really? You believe that? Yeah. Why though? Why? Because they believe in a prophet oh, after Elijah Muhammad, Muhammad. Elijah okay, Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why Muhammad Ali, rahimahullah, he, he frees himself from him. And read what Malcolm X, the work of Malcolm X yeah, actually. Yeah. It's an, in Malcolm X, rahimahullah, he was an inspiring, salam wa rahmatullah. He was actually, Malcolm X, 
was an inspiring figure. I advise you to read his work. Read. Because he was, he was into this. He was, he was taking his faith seriously. When he discovered, when he learned more about Islam, he freed himself from Elijah Muhammad. That's come back Elijah Muhammad. And then he, he believes in Allah. He believes in Islam the way that it is. And Islam is not about only for black people. And it's not the same the white people are the devil. No, no, no. They believe the white, white man is the devil. Salam yeah, they but Elijah believe. Muhammad was a white man. No. Elijah Muhammad no, was no. a white man. No, he was mixed, mixed race. No, he was a white man. He wasn't white. He, was a white he wasn't man. as dark, but he wasn't, he wasn't white. I don't know. I don't look I've been always told he's No, no. Man. Look at him. You could see him. Uh, just check him. And then you'll find he's, he, was, he was black. He, was, he, was, he wasn't white, white man, as a white. But my point is, yeah. you see here, the, in Islam... So could, could God forgive them for that? For that act of, of seeing Elijah Muhammad as a prophet. Allah says in the Quran, Allah will never forgive a partner associated with him partners. And anything below that, Allah will forgive him partners. Those people, they commit shirk associated with Allah partners. How? By accepting someone to legislate after his legislation. So they made someone a legislator along with Allah. Yeah. Yeah, in faith. So they accept the legislation that was said by Elijah Muhammad. And then they made it exactly like the legislation which Allah has revealed. So that's why that's shirk, this form of association with Allah partner. That's why they're out of the world of Islam. Allah will never forgive and pardon this. All right, but if, I mean, if, they, if they're not praying to him, they're not worshipping him, they're, 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 they're praying to Allah. They're yes, yes, the but the problem is not about praying to Allah. So listen, listen. Why, why I will so tell you, I will, simple as that. Because Allah says, when Allah has mentioned the Quran about yeah. the Prophet Muhammad, he is Khatim and he's the last Prophet, the last, final one. Okay. He's the final one. Anyone who says, no, he's not the final one. There's someone after him, that's he's a, done. That's the biggest. That's the biggest. He's out of Islam. Because that means disbelieving what God has said. Okay. And that's shirk. It doesn't matter. That's why we, the Qadiani, who call themselves Ahmadis, who comes here, those, they say, they say we are Muslims. We say, no, you're not Muslim. Even if you pray all the time, we don't care about it. It's the concept. The faith start. So the first, the Shahada, to testify Allah is the only one worthy to worship. And the final message is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And to follow his way, his, his guidance, Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. So that's the first thing. So if you, if you have issues with this, Alayhi Salam, if you have issues with this, there is no Islam with you. Will the Jews see Jannah? The Jews, the followers of Moses, at that time, yes. But what about today? No. They won't see it. Yeah, you see, is that if, something you can guarantee though? Is I that will tell you why. Sure Allah says in the Quran. Oh, isn't, is, what, shouldn't Allah just be the judge of that? I will tell you. Allah told us here. The, Allah told us when he sent the first of all, that uh, the ayat, the ambiguous ayat about the Jews of the Christian, the believers of the Jews of the Christian, this ambiguous ayat, uh, the, the true believer, the true followers of the Moses and, and Jesus, peace be upon him, yeah. before the sin of Muhammad. And after that, after the sin of Muhammad, Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ فِي نَارِ جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أُولَاكُمْ شَرُّ الْبَرِيَةِ Those who disbelieve from the Jews and the Christians and the pagans, they're going to be in the hell for, for eternity. So Allah mentioned this in the Quran. Because of this, we stick to that. Yeah. But we ask Allah to guide them. That's our duty. We try to guide them. Unless if the person, the message of Islam did not receive him or her, or, or, it, it, or they received the message in a distorted way. Yeah. Meaning someone will say, Islam is a terrorist, etc. You know, it's something. That, yeah, yeah. And he lived all his life. He didn't know nothing about Islam. He died. Then he will be tested in the yeah. Day of Judgment. No, oh, he will be, be tested, tested in the Day of Judgment. But if someone knew about the message of Islam properly and still went to him, that's it. What do we do? We try to bring him and he will try so to as, run away. As a monotheist, if, I, if, I, if to my last days, if I'm a monotheist, this is my last question, I don't want to like drag on. As a monotheist, listen to me. As a monotheist, would I see, would, is there a possibility I can see Jannah? If you believe in one God, yeah. Allah, Allah alone with no partners, you one believe God. in him yeah. and you believe that Muhammad peace be upon him, is a prophet and messenger of God. Why is, why is that? I don't, why? Because Allah you says know, in the Quran, through Jesus. I mean, I mean, Jesus was a Muslim. Yeah, I believe that. I believe he, was, he, he, he submitted to... to uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if you use the term. I don't know if you use the term Muslim. Listen, but listen. Frank, Frank, Frank. How, Frank. Did, how did you know Jesus said there was only one Muslim? From how I've interpreted it. He, he prayed to, he prayed to the Bible. Listen, listen. Yeah, so Frank, message, Frank, right? you understand Frank, message, Frank, yeah, Frank. So, so, Frank, you know, Frank. He said there's a, uh, a coming uh, messenger. That's not important to me. I already have the message. Listen, right? listen. So, Frank, Frank, Frank. One second, brother. I, I know where he's coming from. Let me finish this with that. And then after that. The followers of Moses were Muslims. The one who yeah. disbelieved Jesus became Jews. Because they didn't, they didn't believe that he's the true Messiah. No, no, Allah. The, the one Jews. who disbelieved Muhammad became Muslims. 
Do you think it has, uh, what do you think that's the What do you believe is the central message of Jesus Christ? That, that's it. That's me. That's me. That's me. I'm there. Yeah. You are there. You are there. Why is there you are there. You are there. You are there. Then. When you come on the day of judgment, you said you're, you're, you're monotheistic. You still have to answer why did you disbelieve in Muhammad? It's not about disbelief. My, my, my brother, my brother, no, 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 my brother, my brother, my brother, did you say to him it's okay not to believe in Muhammad or something like that? No, 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 no I believe he was a prophet. Okay, good, good. If you I believe he's a prophet, prophet and the last prophet, that's good. That's good. So between you and God, say the testimony. Between you and Allah, you don't need to say it to everyone. Do you understand? I already have the message. I'm good. But for me, the main message you yeah, tell the, me the is, is not for me, for, for, it's for Tawheed, monotheism, yeah. done. Good. Okay, then why don't you accept Islam? I already have the same message as you. You were born in this century. How did you know there's one of them? Again. The only religion that promotes monotheism. No, it's not. Judaism, Judaism promotes monotheism. No, Judaism, 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 Judaism. Go, go and have discussion somewhere else. And okay, then after that. Let me go back to it. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you see the point is what I'm, what I'm saying. Because sometimes some brothers, they, they are very enthusiastic. They okay. want to say, but sometimes they may not have the right information. Right. My point is to you. Here, our the first the ayah in the Quran affirms that to accept, yeah, uh, to accept the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah Allah says in the Quran, follow what's been revealed to you from your Lord, but and don't follow any other any other thing. So Allah told us this. Allah has said in the Quran, فَلَا وَرَبِّكَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ حَتَّى يَحْكُمُكَ فِي مَشْهَدِ رَبِّنَا By your Lord, they will not be the true believer. Until they will make you Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to believe what you, what's been revealed to you and to accept what you legislated. So these are ayat in the Quran affirms that you have to accept the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a final messenger alayhi salatu Plus as well, he said alayhi salatu wasallam, by the one whose my soul is in his hand, meaning by Allah, okay. no one from the Jews or the Christian heard about me, yeah, heard about me. And if they did not accept what I was sent with, yeah. except Allah will throw them in the hellfire. I, so, I, I don't believe that. Thing. No, that, that's we see that here, why is this? Because here, otherwise, it means everyone will follow, follow whatever they want. You will make your own faith. Another will say, I believe, I believe, I don't believe, I don't need to believe in Jesus, but I believe in Moses. And then we'll say, I, but I believe some people, some Jews came to me here. They said to me, I accept Islam. I accept Muhammad to be a prophet of God. I accept Moses to be a prophet, but I will not accept Jesus to be a prophet of God. I said, oh, you're not okay, a Muslim. Yeah. You're not a Muslim, you can't be a Muslim. You have to accept Jesus as well as a prophet. Yeah. As a prophet of Muhammad. You all, have to. All, yeah. all, not one. All of them. From Adam to Muhammad. All of them. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All of them. So we believe in all of them. So you see here, that's the key thing. So we are not just only when it comes to Muhammad alayhi yeah, yeah. We are biased and with the other prophets. Okay, no. No way. Every single one. That's what we say. We didn't distinguish between the so prophet why, why and the like why, why shouldn't Shahadas be? Yeah, if you came, if you came from Christian background, yeah. we say to you, say, I testify there is no one worthy to be worshipped except Allah, and I testify that Muhammad is the final messenger of Allah, and I testify that Jesus, peace be upon him, is the prophet and messenger of Allah. We say to you to say this, and the prophet Salah, he said to a Christian to say this. Why? Because he came from a Christian background who believed Jesus is God. Yeah, so in yeah. order to to affirm this, you yeah. understand? We say to the Jews who comes here, if there are some Jews who accept Islam, yeah, the Jews who accept Islam, we say to them to say Jesus is the prophet of God. Yeah. So we discuss about Jesus first. Right. Sometimes, you understand? Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's why. That's not the common way, is it though? Like, it depends. Way, Each one has his own oh, unique one. thing. Okay. So that's why, even if someone believes the issues in the Quran, some people who, who hear, and then they have issues in the Quran. They, they say, don't, and then we say, you have to take your shahad again. And then we say to them, you testify that the whole Quran is intact as it was revealed. We'll, we'll, we'll make them to say this in order to know what he stands, where he stands about the Quran. Someone who rejects the hadith, they say, I don't believe in any hadith, whatever. We say to them, no, I believe everything that was revealed in the Prophet وسلم, whatever he has said is from Allah. Understand? What if I take that shahad and then refuse to pray east. I just want to pray the way I pray because I believe that God can see you. Take, take your shahada. Take your shahada, firstly. Pray as Allah commanded you to pray. I don't, I don't believe that. Though. What? I don't, I don't believe How God Allah commanded you to pray? Just to pray. How? Why, okay, why are you praying east? No, I'm not praying east. I'm praying in the direction of Mecca. Yeah, why? Isn't that idol worship? No. In the beginning, they used to pray in Jerusalem. I'm and then they prayed in Mecca. Okay, what about the concept of just and praying. By the, the way, way Mecca, at certain point, it was destroyed. We still pray the direction. 
So we're praying in the direction, we're not praying to the Mecca. Do you understand? So we have to pray in the direction. Uh, and Allah. I don't know. That, that's, that's now here, you see here, that's why if you have. So, so, so you're supposed to do that and then not do that. No, 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 no. My point is, you see here, what me and you have to have a common ground. The common ground is the Quran. And pray, right? What the Quran says, to pray where? Wait, wait, there's a, there's a Quran yes. pray east. Yes, no east, to Mecca. Oh, I, I don't believe that. See, I don't, I don't believe that text. You see here, that. you see, that's why that your sense. issue. No, it makes sense. Because you have no, to bring them. No, that's why, uh, my brother, I mean, don't use things according to your own sense. Use things, if there is something which is true, you accept the truth as it is. Yeah, but the, when you say don't use things to your own sense, I understand that, but it has to make sense to me. Because as no problem. Islam study, makes listen, sense to you because to you. of your own sense. No, no, no. You no, came to that no, sense. No, I oh, no. studied. I studied. You, don't, you didn't decide that you were going to be Muslim? But the, I was born Muslim. So. I was born Muslim. But you, you, you have to decide yeah, that. I have, the right I have yeah, to decide yeah, that right so way. You use so, your sense for that, right? What we advise you, study, and then to say you have to pray, etc. How we study. pray? Prostrate. You prostrate. Based on what? Prayer. Pray, based yeah. on the instruction of God. Where is the instruction? Oh, well, yeah, you said it was in hadith, but there was a no, in, you in said the it was an indication in Quran. No, no, sir. Prostration is in the Quran. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, Allah to command us to and the same one who commands us to prostrate the Quran commands us to pray in the direction of Mecca. I don't believe that. I, I, I so don't believe you can't, there is no yeah, fear it's, pick. It's, yeah, but, but we all do that though. We no, all pick and choose. No, Quran, we don't pick and choose. We take it as it is. Every, my belief is every religious person pick and choose. And I'll, and no. I'll prove it. Okay, Let's prove. prove it. That I pick and choose. Yeah, no, no. We all pick and choose. Everyone does. Okay, tell me, Yal. Okay. Last week, did you sin last week? Yes. You sinned last week, right? Yeah, everyone did you, Exactly. Did you know that... Uh, um, uh, Allah instructed you not to do that sin last week. Yeah. And you still done it, right? Yeah. And you pray for forgiveness, right? Yes. So that for me, that, that is my criteria of picking and choosing. No, 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 no. God told you don't do it. He told you don't do it. Good. Yeah. Listen to, to this. Follow the book to the T. Right? Did no, no. Did God create me infallible? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't no. know. We are sinners. But you have the you have the option to be what's sinless. The, what's right? the, what's the, no. We have no option. Oh, you have no option. No. What really? sinner? By the Quran, Allah said. And, uh, the, the prophet peace be upon him said, human is a fatai, um, No, my brother, one second. I know you, some brothers they like to say that's not uh, Quran. Muhammad no, I, uh, the prophet peace be upon him. But the prophet said, Of course, 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 the prophet no, no, mistakes, mistakes in something, yeah. and sins in something else. Okay, but he sinned before. No, no, uh, no, no, no. I oh, will tell you. Sin. No, he didn't sin. Oh, okay. What's this? He he made mistakes, thing, certain things. As a human being, made mistakes. He's a normal human Someone being. Someone over there told me that he sinned before. Of course, he's no, a man. No, there, there, he, make him man. there is not one second. He made mistakes, but not sins. So we need to understand between okay. sins and mistakes. The, the, is that the same for Jesus and Moses? Out of respect. No, no, it's not a sin. Even though it's a mistake. Oh, but it is. It, I, my, guess, I guess it's a sin. No, my brother is not a sin. Okay, yeah, it's up to you. Okay, cool. My brother, that's please. Honest. I, I that's honest, honest though. My brother, please. That's honest you, though. My brother, I'm not debating you, please. Of course. I'm, I'm my brother, right. my brother, okay. go and study and learn and come back. Sorry. Okay, so was he wrong? Okay, he was wrong. Oh. Yeah. So my brother, that listen to me so and listen to this. Honest, man. Yeah. Salam alaikum. Yo, everyone on YouTube, you know. Yeah. So, right. what I'm saying, so the Prophet peace be upon him, there are certain mistakes that he has done as a human being. Yeah. But come to sin, meaning God will instruct him to do something and will do opposite to that, yeah. he didn't do. Do you yeah. understand? That's how it is, the meaning of sin. That's the meaning it's, of sin this, yeah. is, this is us as a human being, we do that. And he said every son of Adam is a sinner. That meaning the default thing for the children yeah. of Adam are sinner. But the best of the sinner are those who repent. So that's why we are instructed to repent. Okay. So that's why Allah didn't create, we are, we are sinners. Yeah. We have weakness, we have our own thing. But how we strengthen our weakness is by seeking forgiveness. That's what God loves from but do, us. Do we have the option to follow this the is, This is not picking and choose. That's picking and choose That's to accept point. legislation and to, to accept it in totality. Okay. But I accept what you said. You said I accept our sin. Yeah. I accept it's a sin. Yes. If I said this is not a sin, I'm okay with it. But you still, still done it no, do, do again, that's to do something yeah. as a sin. That yeah. is something. And to disbelieve in it is something else. Oh, yeah, I agree. Huh? Yeah. yeah that's For example, to say, 
if I lie, I sin. Yeah. If I believe lying is not a sin, I'm a disbeliever in Islam. Yeah, yeah. You understand? But you're conscious of lying is a sin, right? It's a sin. So will you, is there a possibility you will lie next week? M what? Is there a possibility? Anyone, that anyone, lie anyone is a sinner. But yeah. My point is, that's but, not but from. Can you see my point? Listen, was not pick and no, no, no. That's not picking and choose. You, when you say that's your weakness, here doesn't mean you reject the text. What you're doing, you reject the whole text. No, no. I, I, I pick and choose what text makes sense. No, it doesn't matter. That's why the Quran is intact. The Quran is complete. Take it all. Is all you take? Oh. All. That's why we say to you study the Quran. The more you study, the more you be more confident in accepting Islam. So it takes time, no problem. But it's for you. Just open your heart and mind for the truth. But you, as you said, you know men are fireable, right? Men are fireable. Yes. Who, who wrote the book? Men wrote the, the Quran as the Bible, as the Torah, right? It was, it was written under the inspiration of God. That's an assumption. No, it was no, we know this. So it's perfect then. They could have made no mistake. Those men that wrote it. No mistake. That's a, that's a, that's a belief again. It's intact. That's, a, that's, a belief again. that's why we know it's checked. If it, there is a text it's being. Preserved. I agree, it's preserved. That's it. It's but it doesn't mean, doesn't mean they never made a mistake in that book. No, in the book, it's zero. Zero. That's our claim. Now you need to find out. You need to prove vice versa. No, I don't need to prove it. I just need to read it and accept it. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, why yeah, yeah, yeah. we say there is zero mistakes in the Quran. Really? No mistake. No single mistake. I would only agree that's been preserved. Because Allah here. promised we have sent down this revelation, we'll be protecting. So it's protected. It's done. Done on this book. And we know this is checked on a daily basis. What text is checked on a daily basis? By millions of people on the world. Recited out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's impossible. No, no, no. And it's from day one. Teacher to student, teacher to student, all the way to until now. How is that? 15 million people on earth now, members of the Quran. What's the matter about numbers? Numbers, is not numbers no, numbers make it's sense. About the truth, about the truth, truth yes. Truth. Yeah, there is nothing numbers because not. God wanted to prove to us, to tell us, Even not for him. Even there's one Muslim in the world right now, does it mean that the book is not true? The book is true, right? Like, yeah. one Muslim My point is still, we are, that's the challenge. This is the yeah. eternal challenge. Allah says, produce, like yeah, produce, yeah, yeah. Okay. produce timbers, produce one chapter. And this this challenge still. It's a belief, though. You believe it. Yeah, do, believe yeah, it. yeah bring. It's not, no religion is a fact yet. You know that. It's a fact. <laughs> For me, the religion of Islam is more fact than even my own, you know, my own be, you know, existence here. You're lying, no, that's a lie. No, I'm not lying. No, Allah. That's because if I'm here or not here, Islam is safe. Like, that could be for anything. That could be, that could be the, the, the no. uh, Christian book. No. It's if, no. If I'm here or not here, Islam is still there because God has created us to worship Him. And that's in Islam. That's, that's a I know, it, that's how it is. So, yeah, it is. you go and, and read and study and yeah, yeah, every understand. Day, every day I'm reading. Every day. And, oh, and I told you to do something last week. Did you do it? Uh, what was that? Told you to take a shower. Ask God, guide me, show me the truth. I took a shower, I did that. But you didn't ask God. <laughs> then do that today then. Uh, yeah? I keep doing it, I keep doing it. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. I could be Muslim tomorrow, I could be Christian tomorrow. Just today go home, take mm. a shower, and sincerely, genuinely ask God to show you the, the truth. And what if I feel like I've got it? What if I, what if I have an experience that God is telling me, you have the message, don't so, worry. Don't be arrogant, that's ego and arrogance. And arrogance. You know me, don't, I don't do like this. That. I don't, I don't, Just never that, I don't. Go home and yeah. do what I'm saying to you, that's all. That's arrogant. Yeah, no. Go home and do ask, what I'm telling you. Ask me. God, not me. Ask oh, God. Yeah. yeah, that's all. You are not, when you humble yourself to God, you're not arrogant. You are humbling to God. So that's all. Go home, take a shower, ask God. I know you're there. I know you hear me. I know you see me. Help me. Show me the truth. Make me to follow the truth. That's all. All right, take care. May Allah guide you anyway. I know it's. All right, take care of yourself. Next. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Inshallah, hopefully next time the Shahada one. Allah. Yeah, it was good, mashallah. It was good.